I'm halfway to being a celebrity supermodel. And it actually looked so good. She like lit the <gasps> Look at the difference. Lashes, curled, concealer, creased. Today's video is sponsored by Dematica, and if you've watched my videos a fair few times, you will have seen that I've worked with Dematica many times now, which I'm very grateful for, but the reason I continue to work with them is because it is such a good brand. I fully stand behind it. It's worked really well for me. I've spoken to quite a few of you guys who have tried this and you found that it really works for you as well. It's basically a personalized skincare subscription service. So you receive this once a month, and at the very start, you send over pictures of your skin. They ask you to take pictures of like the front of your face, each side of your face. You send them over to their dermatology team, as well as your main skin concerns. So whether it's acne or rosacea or melasma or pigmentation or fine lines, I think is another one, or just general sort of like skin brightness. You send over all of your own skin concerns to their dermatology team and the pictures and they will assess all of those and then put together your own little bottle of personalized skincare that you just need to apply once a day at nighttime. You just do one pump of this and that is enough for your whole face. And the reason why this works so well is because they have prescription strength ingredients, which you can't just buy from like regular skincare products that you buy at the supermarket or like in whatever a shop. And let me just tuck my hair behind my ears so you can actually see all of my skin. And let me actually zoom you all the way in. My skin definitely goes through phases and I sometimes get hormonal acne, mostly kind of like around my cheeks or like jaw sort of area. And as I've said before, I'm not saying that this is going to cure your life problems. However, I just find that it works so well on my skin to keep it looking bright and to keep it looking a lot more even. And if I do get any hormonal kind of breakouts, I find that this helps to clear them really quickly and kind of like reduce the amount of scarring that I get on my cheeks because I have to admit, I am a bit of a picker, which I know is terrible. You should not squeeze your spots. But I find that this just really helps to kind of like keep it all at bay. And in the past where I've gone for like a few weeks where I haven't used this, I really notice a difference when I start using it again. And I just think at the moment, my skin is looking really, really good. Even James said to me when we were sat at the dinner table earlier, he was like, so if your skin's actually looking really good at the moment, I was like, thank you. Is this. Obviously those are all of my own personal experiences with this product and if you would like to try it I do have a discount code where you can get your first month for £2.90 and 10% off your second month when it's usually nineteen ninety nine a month. My discount code is Soph Does Life. I will put it on the screen. I will leave a link down below. Obviously £20 a month is an investment into your skincare but if you're the type of person that buys loads of different skincare products and you haven't found that something kind of particularly works for your skin, if you would like to try it you can use my code to get it for £2.90 just to give it a try and if you don't like it, you don't have to carry on with it, but you probably will end up loving it. And it can take a little bit of an adjustment depending on the ingredients that you have in your particular prescription. I have quite sensitive skin, so I personally like to apply mine with just a kind of like basic gentle moisturizer at nighttime. If you do have any questions along the way, you can reach out to their team. I've personally found that they've been really helpful when I've had any questions. So thank you very much to Matica for working with me again. I will leave all the links down below. Why? Why does this one always go that way? Like perfectly fine. And the other side is just like, <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking of this hair. <laughs> but anyway, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be following a supermodel's makeup routine. How have I not done this before? So today I'm gonna be following the makeup tutorial, Vogue makeup tutorial from Lila Moss. Beautiful name, by the way. I love the name Lila, who is Kate Moss's daughter. Obviously Kate Moss is an iconic, super famous supermodel. And her daughter, who is 20 years old, is now also a supermodel and she is stunningly gorgeous. She seems really sweet as well. So we're gonna see how she does her makeup. Let's do it. I don't know how people do all these cool like hairstyles with claw clips. So first of all, she did all her skincare stuff and then she goes in with the Laneige slip, slip, <laughs> lip sleeping mask, which all the celebrities seem to use this and so do I. So step one, complete. <laughs> I'm halfway to being a celebrity supermodel. Right before she does the makeup, she takes a perfume, closes her eyes and sprays the perfume like on her face. This is my mom's sacred mist from her new brand and it smells of her and it makes me so happy. I have never seen somebody apply a perfume. Is it definitely a perfume and not like a face mist? Because they've put fragrance on the screen. Sometimes the Vogue people don't like list everything correctly, which is kind of frustrating when it's when I'm trying to follow the video. Cosmos Sacred Mist. Nah, it does say perfume. I've never seen somebody apply their perfume like ch -ch 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 -ch, like around their face. Very confused, but I'm sure it smells great. <laughs> Onto my makeup. This is my going out party look. So it's a bit heavier and I use a bit more makeup. My first step is a skin tint. As you can see, I use this a lot. I used to use this years ago. Honestly, what celebrity does not use the 
Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I'm not gonna lie, this is exactly what I think of. When I think supermodel makeup, I just think Charlotte Tilbury. Mostly because she does the makeup for a lot of supermodels on her Instagram, and I think for like shows and stuff. I do love this stuff, you know? But I wish that more of it got on the applicator, because you have to dip in quite a lot. I didn't dampen my sponge! I'll be right back. By the way, I've got my Flawless Filter in the shade 3. I don't think I've actually ever applied it with a sponge. I always seem to apply it with a brush. Oh, and I'm definitely gonna have to bronze up my neck. <laughs> my beauty blend is already damp. I'm just blending this out all over my face. It just evens the skin colour out. I mean, my skin was pretty glowy to start off with, just with my moisturiser on, but this is next level. I love her freckles. I wish I had freckles. I think they're so cute. Just before I continue, I'm just gonna put a bit of bronzer on my neck, because otherwise that's just gonna annoy me for the whole video. <laughs> okay, cool. We move on. Glossy Stretch Concealer, which again is scratched and very much use. Um, I'm just gonna take my finger. Some Glossier Stretch. I've got the shade G9. This is gonna be too dark for me at the moment, but it's the only one that I've got. And she takes her finger. She uses her fingers a lot in this video, which I quite like, you know? I personally don't do that often because my nails are quite lethal, but I used to use my fingers all the time to blend in my concealer. Even when I did have nails, actually. I think the craziest thing makeup-wise I've seen on TikTok, I saw someone trying to use a banana to do eyeliner. And it actually looked so good. She like lit the end of the banana with like a lighter to make it a bit... What? <laughs> the things that people do on the internet. I mean, I've done some questionable things on the internet too. Last creamy concealer. I use this on any blemishes or redness or spots. Okay. And I'm actually just using my Too Faced concealer because I'm absolutely devastated. The NARS concealer, creamy concealer, I absolutely love. But I realised that it contains sorbitan, which I am sadly allergic to. And I can't use my NARS creamy concealer anymore. That is absolutely not the fault of NARS, by the way. Their concealer is amazing. I just have a really weird random allergy to some ingredients that a lot of people are absolutely fine with. It's just really sad. And some stuff that has it in, I'm fine with. I guess like different products have it in different percentages. But I realized that the NARS concealer was one of the things that my skin just doesn't agree with. I actually watched my first runway show last night. I have no idea why. I literally haven't watched it since. I did it. I was so nervous and scared and I think I was just like clamped up. I think I've improved and I'm definitely more confident on the runway now than I was. I can't imagine being a supermodel at the age of 20. Like she must feel a lot of pressure. Also the fact that her mum is Kate Moss. I mean, I guess she can learn a lot from her mum, but it must be so scary doing a runway when I'd imagine she started when she was like a teenager. Absolutely fair play to her. Okay. I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender and just blend out the NARS a bit on my... I get so excited when I know I'm gonna be working with Pat. She always makes you feel and look amazing. I'm assuming that she's talking about Pat McGrath and I don't blame her. I too would be very excited if I was working with Pat McGrath because she's an incredible makeup artist. I use the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. Um, me and my friends call this Dot Dot because um, we just kind of go Dot Dot, you know? And once when I was like, can someone pass me that? And I couldn't like think of the name. I was like, can someone just pass me the dot dot please? Dot dot. What a cute little story. Okay, so I've put my dot dot exactly where she put it and then let's blend it out. My mum is good friends with Charlotte Tilbury, which is very, very lucky for me. She's so lovely and so generous. I'm can you imagine just being like, yeah, my mum's really good friends with Charlotte Tilbury. Her mum, well, to be fair, her mum is probably friends with like every famous person in the world, surely. <laughs> Always using her products for everyday makeup looks because they're so easy to use and even if you don't know how to use makeup it's still just you put it on your face and it just looks good I kind of agree with that actually. A lot of the Charlotte Tilbury products that I've tried, they're pretty, like this contour for example, it's not super crazy pigmented and I think all of her products just kind of blend out quite easily so if you do make any mistakes you can kind of fix it. Okay, so it's quite a natural bronzer and then she seems to kind of bring the excess onto her jaw. I just imagine that every supermodel ever w uses this. I'm wearing my glucose monitors. I use my phone to kind of scan it and check my glucose. I kind of don't even really notice them anymore just because it's like having a tattoo, you just, it's part of you. I believe she's diabetic if I'm correct, so she was just talking about her glucose monitors on her arms, which I think is really cool. I think it probably makes other people that w have to wear the same kind of like monitors on their arms, maybe probably makes them feel a bit more comfortable that a supermodel is doing it. I think she's also walked a runway with them like visible and stuff, which I think is really cool. 
I literally cannot leave the house <gasps> without this product. So she's then doing her cream blush. She's using a Kosas lip balm for her blush. Instead of that, because I don't have that particular product, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury lip and cheek thing. It's basically like a lip balm, but you can put it on your cheeks as well. I use it in the day, just like on my cheeks with nothing else and as lip balm as well. Cool, cute, that is my blush done. For the eyes, I use Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna take this and just I believe it is the Charlotte Tilbury Sophisticated palette. Sorry, it's called The Sophisticate. I don't have this exact palette from Charlotte Tilbury. However, I have pretty much the exact same colors in this little super nudes eyeshadow palette. Oh, the little things come out. I've not actually used this yet, but I'm gonna use this shade because it looks very, very similar to the one that she's using. But she never blended out any creases on her eyelids. But she seems to just kind of put this like all over her, like the lid close to her lash line. And then she sort of like drags it outwards. With just a really big I brush. Think, I think the best makeup advice I've ever received is from my mom. And it's that less is more. She sort of just like sweeps it towards her eyebrow. And then suddenly it just looks like it's completely disappeared. I don't know, she puts it on and you can see it. And then in the next clip, it's almost like she's blended it out entirely. So <laughs> maybe I'll do the same thing, but she seems to just sort of like put a wash of it over her lid and she just sort of like drags it out like this. Like it's the easiest thing in the world. Oh, I don't know. I go in with this tiny brush and I take a bit of this and a tiny bit of the medium brown. I'm gonna go with this one, which is from the Flawless Eye Filter Palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I came prepared with a few just to try and get the right kind of shades. She just goes in with a bit of brown under her eye and then just sort of like drags out a little bit of brown eyeshadow. But it's again, it's barely visible. If I was getting ready with my friends, I'd probably be listening to Rihanna or like Doja Cat. Hers is super, super natural. I actually find it really quite difficult to do the whole like effortless makeup look without making it look messy. I'm gonna go in with a concealer brush and kind of dull that down a little bit. Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. They didn't list which highlighter it is, but I heard her pull a lid off, so I'm assuming it's the Spotlight cream highlighter. And she puts it on with her little finger like on her, okay, no, I'm just poking myself. On her inner corners and on her eyelid as well. I need a brush, my nails are too long. <laughs> Vogue did a runway show and it was the first time they've ever done a runway show and it was insane and I got to be a part of it and walk in the show. Bear with me. I feel like you can't really see it that well on my eyelids because it's kind of just mixing with the wet concealer that I had on. But that's what she does. I'm so obsessed with her freckles. I'm just going to add a couple. This pen is the coolest thing ever. It's actually a fake tan freckle pen. So, I mean, obviously, if you do it over the top of your foundation, it's not really going to last as well. But if you just do it on your bare skin and do probably darker dots than this and leave it overnight or leave it for a few hours, you wake up in the morning and you have freckles and they will probably last for like a day or two. It's the U tan freckle pen just added a couple of freckles yes yeah, sorry how have we used the exact same products but she looks just like she's not wearing any makeup at all and i just look like an oil slick i always do this are you joking <gasps> look, look at the difference a lancome mascara her lashes are unbelievable when she curls them these are the house of lashes colors okay so curling my lashes Maybe I just need to find like a really good lash color. To be honest, this one is a pretty good lash color and it does definitely make a difference. But I just find it so fiddly to actually get all my eyelashes in it. Sometimes I rip my lashes out. Most of the time I'm in such a rush that I just don't have time. Lashes, curled, concealer, creased. Lancome mascara. Lancome mascara. I think she's using this one, which is the Hypnos mascara. I only do the top lashes because if I do the bottom lashes, it like falls down and then it creates like darkness yeah i think i say this every celebrity video i need to start curling my eyelashes because it definitely does make a difference i just cba yeah i couldn't use that cream highlighter on my eyelids maybe she wasn't using the charlotte tilbury cream highlighter on her eyelids maybe it was the lighter shade from the palette she was using i don't know but i'm just gonna set mine with a bit of the lighter shade from this palette because it's just creasing the Beverly hills anesthesia clear brow gel <laughs> Hang on, what did she just call that? The Beverly Hills Anastasia brow gel. I don't actually have that brow gel, so I'm gonna use this beauty crop one, the BFF XXL. Brush and Lau. Brush and Lau? <laughs> brow and lash. I do that 
way too often, like get the wrong way round of like the stuff that I'm saying. I don't really do anything to my eyebrows. I barely even touch them. They go through very many stages. I bleached them, then they were barely even there. And then now they're actually darker than they have been in a very long time. So I feel like I should shoot them or give them a bit more attention and love. I have just freshly tinted my eyebrows for this video. I'm just gonna take some tissue and, cause I had the lanyard on. Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury, a classic. It's my favorite thing ever and I can't leave the house without this either. Oh, okay. So she does the whole like line down the center of her lip thing. So she overlines her lip. I think I accidentally did that one day and then just decided it looked good. Lip liner is definitely a process. I do mine in the car sometimes. I'm like, she kind of rounds off her cupid's bow. My friends are like, how are you doing that? But you just gotta have a steady hand. And she does a little line. Oh man, it doesn't really show up on my lips. Makeup look. Um, so the lip liner is always with me, but definitely especially on a night out. And then we're gonna use the Fenty Beauty lip gloss. This applicator, that's all I have to say. And the smell. Beauty icons for me would be Maddie Ziegler pops to mind. I love all of her makeup looks that she does. The bold eyes. I also love the applicator of this. This is the shade Fenty Glow. I think hers is a bit more of a pinky toned one because this one's a little bit more brown. Hailey's kind of no makeup makeup. Of looks. course, we all love Hailey Bieber makeup. Actually, not everybody does. I love Hailey Bieber makeup. Glossier, translucent powder. Finally! Oh god, I just shook that everywhere. Now is it gonna be like, all <gasps> is it gonna be all over the place? No, not quite. Okay, phew. Finally, she goes in with a bit of powder. The Glossier powder, and I've got the shade G11 to G12, which is actually really fair. Oh god, I forgot how finely milled this is. It kind of just flies everywhere. I still wanna leave some glow on my cheeks, but I don't want it to look too insane. And this, this is, is my super model makeup done. I did all the exact same steps as Lila, but I feel like my makeup just looks a little bit heavier than hers. I do really like it. I think it looks very fresh. It looks very kind of youthful and and I just love the fact that this is her, she said that this is her heavy party makeup. For me, this is like a natural everyday kind of makeup look. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should I chop these bits of hair just so they're a bit shorter? Because right now they kind of like come down to my chin. But I think it would look pretty cool if they were maybe like, I don't know, nose length. So they were a bit more like, whoo. I think the main takeaway from this is that I need to start curling my eyelashes. Let me know what you think down below. That is it from me and my lovely, lovely subscribers. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give this a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of video, I would love it if you subscribe because I post this kind of thing quite often whenever a popular celebrity does a kind of Vogue makeup tutorial. Quite a lot of the time, I will follow it and recreate it on my own channel. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Don't forget, if you would like to check out Dermatica, my discount code is Life. I hope you guys are doing good and I will see you in my next video. Bye.